introducing a user-friendly system to support the development and implementation of follow-through skills. Two of the most important components of success are knowing what to use and using what you know. It's really impossible to create success until you decide and define what success is, and therein setting goals becomes an enormously important part of the process. We have a lot of training that's done internally within our organization and externally where we hire professional sales companies to do sales training. But one of the things that's always missing in most sales training programs is you learn a lot of things, but then how do you really roll those out into your day-to-day -day, um, activities? And then once you've got those goals, what you need is something to continue to motivate you to take the steps to achieve them. And that's where peer accountability comes in. Picking the right people and telling the right people that I'll support you in achieving your goals if you'll support me in achieving mine. I'll hold you accountable for what you say you're going to do if you'll hold me accountable for what I say I'm going to do. Deciding what you want and then having the structure to make that happen. Knowing what to use and then using what you know is the real key to success. That really brings down the, the basic blocking and tackling and forms accountability groups that meet on a regular basis to assure that you're actually using the tools that you know and that you've learned. Um, and it, it works great. New participants begin by forming follow-through mastery groups at an orientation workshop. Our workshop leaders do not tell participants what goals to set nor what steps to take. We focus on teaching a group approach that supports a participant's follow-through on their individual action plans. What's the third element of the review? Action. Studying the action plan. And many of us are, are very bright and we come up with incredible action plans that would work if we would just do them. Problem is that sometimes the action plans that we set up are so effective that maybe we're not willing to commit to that much work. There's a lot of factors that lead to our success. Uh, greed or profit motivation is one of those. A another perhaps more human aspect of that is our interaction with other people. And to do that, of course, you need a group. You need a group of people that can get together and, and share and interact and exchange, trade attention and so forth. That, that kind of interaction can help one reach their goals better and reach better goals, both private and business goals. Organize my pipeline, research my roadmap. Well, they, I can't, I'm trying to get rid of my status O's. I can't, get, I put, can't put them into status nine. So I'm working on that. Getting up, I, I can typically get up if I get to bed by 10, so it's just a matter of making sure that I'm in bed by 9.30 or by 10 o'clock manager, a business manager, someone might be able to give one direction, set goals and so forth, but they can't really approach us from a peer point of view. The one thing a manager can do is apply peer pressure, and as we know, that's a very, very strong motivating factor in anybody's life. Peer accountability, I think the difference between the peer accountability and the manager accountability is they're used to me on, on a daily or weekly basis coming up to them, pressuring them to get something done, but they don't want to let, to let their peers know they didn't succeed in something that um, they set out to do. So the peer accountability, I think, you know, plus there's a lot more time with their peers where they can be on each other, where with me I have 25, 30, 40 employees at a time that I have to keep on top of. Fortunately, I've asked, we've all asked in our group, that we hold each other accountable. So we give each other a little grief when we, when we come back and say, I didn't do it. So the motivation is there to come back and say, I did do it. I have to say that I've become a lot more disciplined than what I was, a lot more focused as a result of that discipline and more organized, a lot mm -hmm. more organized. I think one of the most motivating factors is if, if you make goals with other people and, and they start reaching theirs and you're not reaching theirs, it's, it's a real motivator. You, know, you want to go get yours done too. And so it starts to force everyone to succeed together. A key benefit of attending regular follow-through meetings is the successful completion of more projects in less time. I don't have much time, so my biggest thing is it helps me get organized. I get caught up in the day-to-day to-do -to -day to lists and things like that, and uh, 
it helps me take a step back, look at the big picture goals, meet with some very good friends and have them kind of keep an eye on me and making sure that I'm following my goals. And um, I think it's mainly it's been helping me get a little bit more efficient and getting more sleep. So I usually try to pack everything into 26 hours into 24 hour days and it just doesn't work. Mainly with this many things going on, it's hard to stay focused. So, so it's really helped me to, to narrow down what, what's important to work on and, and stay focused on it. We saw a 75% increase in sales and it wasn't only for one month. So it wasn't just like a raw, raw, pump you up seminar. They came back two to three months afterwards and did consistent follow-ups so that the, the skills that we were taught as far as goal setting and keeping the sales up, um, that those were still being in, implemented. What we like to see as we're walking around as a facilitator of this, of this meeting is that what I should see is one white page of the person who's sharing and then a pink and a yellow page for the, part, for the goal partners, your club partners who are reading along with you because many times someone might try to skip the thing that they haven't accomplished or that they didn't focus on, etc. And this is a great opportunity for the people at your table to, hold, to help hold you accountable to do what you said you were going to do. I think it applies some pressure, if you will. You've made a real commitment, which you can't deny because, or, or mis, misremember, I should say, you know, remember in a different way. Sometimes people make a goal and then they forget what the goal was. Mm -hmm. uh, but this helps them stay really on track and actually reach their goals, get some feedback whether they're getting there or not. How are we going to know exactly when you're supposed to celebrate achieving that goal? How will we know? It's a great question to ask your club partners at that time. How will you know when they've achieved their goal? Sometimes our goals just aren't measurable. Oh, it had a tremendous effect on my income. It, it, I actually, from the success, I got a little bit more organized and I actually got a promotion. It, it helped me big time, probably $50,000 a year. At a minimum, everybody ought to do some of this kind of work just to evaluate how it's working for themselves. I'm certain that most people, if not all people, will find some real benefits to both the the analysis and thought and development of what their goals are as well as the sharing and the support that comes from the people around them. And I don't think you can do it anywhere near as well alone as you can with a group. I have been using support groups to help me make my goals come true for many, many decades now, three or four decades almost. I've been doing uh, support groups and having success teams and peer accountability groups. I find that by picking the right people and saying out loud and writing down and having it in, in reality, this goal, it's not just a nebulous concept, it's a real thing, and having the right people to make me have, make that come true. Well, I've achieved a great deal in my life already and I have a great deal more that I know I will achieve. And uh, it's been extremely successful. Everybody's learned from each other. Um, goals have been set and hit faster and better than we've ever done before. Um, we doubled our company in the last five years in a, in a mature marketplace. It's, it's been exciting. On a personal side, I've been able to hit a lot of my own personal achievements, which is spent a little bit more time with my family and friends, hit financial goals, um, lifetime goals. Uh, last year I was able to purchase my dream home and um, doing a lot more sailing join Newport Beach so it's been it's been a great experience the idea is you got to know what you want and then you got to make sure you set up the structure to make yourself achieve it